Hey Denchbags, what's going on? It's Landon Remixes here, and welcome to a little bit different of a review than I typically do. Today we're going to be reviewing the newest mashup album by the American DJ Blau. This is Dance Floor Filth 5. And although I've always been huge on Blau's mashups and his work as a producer, um, How You Love Me is one of my favorite progressive house tracks of all time. So he's been on my radar for quite a while. He's kind of been expanding his sound more recently into electro and a little bit of trap too, which is pretty exciting, but I haven't been as big of a fan recently. And I've definitely got a bit of a revival with this mashup album. Even though I love him for his originals, this stuff on this album is some of the most interesting material I've heard him put out to date and definitely highly beats out his last Dance Floor Filth 4 which although I liked I didn't love as much as I did with this one. A lot of the points on this album seem to be very well put together and although there are a couple cheesy moments on this album it all goes together very well and I'm very pleased to hear the end result of Dance Floor Filth 5. The album kicks off with Roses and Money which is a mashup of the Chainsmokers, DJ Snakes You Know You Like It, and Money by by Lil Dicky. And a lot of the times you wouldn't see me being very fond of this kind of club oriented hip hop or rap music, but Blau makes it very enjoyable, especially evident on tracks like Lean Away, which is a mashup of Fetty Wap, Dea, and Major Lazer. I actually hated uh, Dea's Hideaway, but this actually makes it pretty enjoyable with a really catchy beat from Fetty Wap and the addition with Lean On by Major Lazer and DJ Snake. One of the most interesting ones on here is Say Hello, which is a mashup of Say My Name by Odessa and Hello by Adele. This one's really cool, taking the instrumental from Say My Name and the vocals from Hello and kind of combining it into this really interesting uh, mashup that I would have never been able to predict. People are trying to make house remixes and future bass remixes, but no one ever thought of putting uh, these two together and Blau did that. Blau's collab with Bright Lights, uh, one of many actually run away. Calvin Harris's How Deep Is Your Love and Taylor Swift's Wildest Dream are combined into How Deep Is Your Wildest Dream. This one's probably one of my favorite uh, just especially with the drop, taking the ow uh, part of How Deep Is Your Love and combining it with Runaway, um, which I didn't really love too much with Bright Lights, but in this context it sounds a lot better in my opinion. Uh, then we get into the rather cheesy What Do You Mean Again, which is a mashup of Justin Bieber's What Do You Mean and Blau's Alive Again. This is one of the points where you just gotta say too much Justin Bieber on one album and kind of let it go, especially when the pitch is so greatly adjusted. How You Love You and I, of course, I already mentioned how much I loved How You Love Me uh, by Blau combined with Galantis's Runaway You and I. And I, t I got this mashup a little earlier last year and I got it to use live because it just sounds so good. Always Dance is a mashup of Blau's edit of Blinders and Charles collab and Walk the Moon's Shut Up and Dance. Um, not exactly an amazing thing, but it's really cool to finally hear something used with Shut Up and Dance. Um, there's nothing really available for free download for or dance versions of that track, and I'm gonna finally be able to use that, so I'm pretty excited about this one. One of my favorites is Blau's original remix of Justin Bieber's Sorry. The only thing that tends to get in the way with this one is the vocals being so heavily sped up, but other than that, the production on this one sounds pretty fantastic. I've often heard Blau's remix of Stitches be basically described as Stitches, but with a beat. I actually like this one a lot better than the original, although it does tend to rip off uh, Where Are You Now by Skrillex and Diplo featuring Justin Bieber. Um, this one's pretty enjoyable and I love to use it in live settings because it makes the track so danceable in what really wasn't a dance track originally. There's an original on this one, just one, that's HSTFU. This is a collab with Laser Laser Laser. It's definitely not a bad track, I didn't dislike it in the slightest. Could have been expecting maybe a little more from Blau being such a wide producer. I think he could have done a little bit more with this, but oh well, it's free. You can't really complain about this. Um, I'm going to make sure to link you this album in the description because it's so freaking good, and make sure to leave some comments below about um, albums that you might want me to review in the near future. 
In the meantime, I'm gonna give this one a solid 8. Like I said, this was my very first mashup album review, so I hope to do maybe some more of these in the future. We'll definitely be revisiting uh, with Blau's next Dance Floor Filth edition. Unless this is the last one for Red Ever Reason, I don't think it's going to be. And I'll be putting out my own mashup album uh, fairly soon with all the mashups you guys have been hearing recently, and a few exclusives maybe as well. So anyway, what do you guys think about this album? Let me know if you have listened to it. If you haven't, go follow that link and grab your free download right now. Especially if you're a DJ, these are going to be really awesome live tools. Trust me, people love these. And anyway, just go through that album and enjoy it. I'm going to see you guys later. Peace.